Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Aliases in Linux serve as a convenient shortcut for frequently used commands, enabling the execution of lengthy commands through a concise keyword. This is not only enhances efficiency, but also aids in command recalls. I don't have to explain the benefits of aliases to many advanced Linux users, but maybe you will find some new ideas in my setup. What are the three main benefits of incorporating aliases in Linux? By assigning aliases to frequently utilized commands, considerable time can be saved. Aliases simplify the recollection of commands. Only a concise keyboard needs to be remembered. And by employing aliases, tasks can be executed swiftly and accurately, resulting in increased output within shorter timeframes. Before we jump into my .bash rc file, the file where the aliases can be defined, I will give you an easy example. When you want to list files in a directory, you use the command ls. And this is a standard output, but this is not what I prefer. What I like are additional information, means when I enter ls with the parameter dash a, then I see also the hidden files. What I want to see is this one. Yeah, so a list of files in a directory, including hidden files and additional information like permissions, creation date, and so on. That's why I defined an alias for ls. Alias ls equals ls dash al. And this is the entry in a bash rc file. So it means when I enter ls, all the additional information pops up without adding the parameter dash al. Another example is my alias to open Vim. Of course, I can open Vim Figlet TXT, but with V Figlet TXT, I can do the same and it's much faster. And this is my .bash RC file. You can find this file in your home directory. And here on top, I have defined all my aliases that I'm using in my system. Let me walk you through. I will open an additional window, for example, the command C. C is the alias for clear and I can clear my terminal. The next one is NF for NeoFetch. But I can also use the command PF for PFetch. LS I have already showed this to you. This is a bit more advanced version. I'm using EXA and EXA also brings color coding into the listed files. And this is how I prefer the command LS. You can install it directly with yay, your AUR helper, and then you can generate the same output. MUT is my alias for NeoMUT and M is the even shorter version for NeoMUT. Shutdown, when I enter shutdown into my terminal, the command systemctl power off will execute it. V is NeoVim, R is Ranger, T shows the available snapshots in my system. TS executes a script in the scripts folder of my dots files folder to create a snapshot. TS, I can enter a comment for the snapshot and the snapshot will be created and the grub bootloader will be updated. Matrix starts C matrix. This is more a fun thing, but always looks good when I show screenshots of my Qtile installation. Shot creates a screenshot with the application S C R O T scrot shot selected. Let me demonstrate it. With that, I can select the area that where I want to have a screenshot from. Wi-Fi opens the Wi-Fi menu, and O D for OneDrive creates a connection to my personal OneDrive folder. Then the Git 
aliases. I'll list it here. GS for git status. So when I, for example, go into my dot files folder and I enter GS, I get the status. But I can also add files with GA, git add, GC to commit, GP for push, GPL for git pull, GST for git stash, and GPF for git stash combined with git pull. Updates my wallpaper and the color code GR is my growth rate calculator. If I want to have the growth rate of the starting value 1000 and the new value 2000, it calculates a 100% growth rate. With chat GPT, I start my chat GPT script with ASCII. I can create a figlet font and it's in my clipboard. And here is the generated text. VM starts my virtual machine. LG starts my looking glass client into my virtual machine. Also, this is a topic that I will cover in one of the upcoming videos. With VM start, I start my virtual machine Windows 11. And with VM stop, I stop Windows 11. A quick access to my config files. So for example, the Qtile is conf q. And here's my Qtile config file. So no need to navigate through the folders. I can enter conf q and um, my Qtile config py file opens whenever I need it. The same for conf p for pycom and conf b for my bash rc file. Notes open WIMS with my notes file. So I make notes also in the terminal with WIM. With update crop, I can update the crop bootloader with the latest configurations and set KB um, updates my keyboard layout to the German keyboard layout. I hope you find something that you can steal here from my .bash RC file. You can also download the .bash RC file from my GitLab server. You will find the link in the description below. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.